<laughs> is there a dependent type version of ADA? That depends on what you mean. <laughs> One of these days we should rewrite everything in Idris just to make you bastards happy. <laughs> yeah. You always get haunted as a CEO of all the decisions you've made and uh, what could you have done differently? And, you know, it is what it is. Have you seen the new hybrid electric Lambo Sion? I have. And, well, at least over the internet. I haven't seen it in person yet. Usually you see them at car shows, and I used to go to them back in the day. Um, it's not worth it. You know, here's the thing. Tesla, at the end of this year, is releasing the new Model S Plaid Edition. It's 1,100 horsepower. Zero to 60 in a four-door sedan that's over 4,000 pounds in 1.8 seconds. A Huracan is three seconds, and it's a tiny car compared to a big car. That game has changed. It's like Tron Legacy. The game has changed. The game's changed. Uh, so it's going to take about three to five years for the hypercars to catch up. And we're going to see 1,500, 1,200 horsepower carbon fiber hypercars. Those are going to be crazy. And we're going to get to the limits of human reaction time and stability at those speeds and then you'll have to introduce a whole AI-assisted driving. And then you're starting to get real G-forces on the people driving them when you talk about acceleration like that. So, uh, yeah, no, it's uh, not worth it by any sense of the mean. It's a beautiful car. It's like $2 million, I think. They went the full Reviton. And uh, I would not buy a Lamborghini, Ferrari, or other car right now. That transition is going to be brutal. And a lot of these older models are going to be uh, hit with a huge price decline because four-door sedans are twice as fast as them. Uh, the battery power cars really changed the game. And rightfully so.